Hello everyone, this is Bowman. welcome back to episode 4 of this Let's Play The Sacred Tools mod. Now with the Royal Harpy Feathers we got from the last boss fight, we could upgrade all of the pre-hard mode Harpy weapons. But I kinda doubt that any of these would be better than our true Pendolera. We never checked out the Harpy Tome, so let's craft and upgrade this one. Oh my god, why did nobody tell me about this weapon? Now I can't wait to upgrade it. Here we go, nice. Ah, oh, come on. We got a broken one. But yeah, it's basically the same as before. But it probably does a lot more damage. Yep, it's really good. Is it better than the true Pendolera though? Uh, maybe with the right equipment, yes. Aw oh, man. I wanted to set up a big open area to farm for this exact yo-yo here. Now it dropped before I finished digging and it also dropped off camera. Which makes me look like a cheater now, according to some people. By the way, congrats to this person for the anti-comment of the day. Because I do stuff off camera, it automatically means that I'm a cheater. Of course! Anyway, I will get this yo-yo to drop on camera, so don't you worry your skeptical faces. In case you are wondering why I want to have the rally yo-yo, it's because we can craft a modded yo-yo if we collect all pre-hard mode yo-yos. And the only ones I'm still missing are the Rally and the Cascade. Which are probably the hardest ones to get in pre-hard mode. Of course, I've been here for about an hour now and guess what? This crappy yo-yo did not drop again. So I'm out of here for now. Okay, it's a new day, a new recording for me. I just created a new well to be able to farm for Cascade the yo-yo. Now as you may or may not know, the cascade can only drop in a pre-hard mode world. And once you kill the wall of flesh and enter hard mode, it will be replaced with the hellfire yo-yo. A better version of cascade pretty much. Oh, I'm so dumb! <laughs> I just had a look at the wiki page of the cascade yo-yo and in order to even be able to get it, we have to kill Skeletron first. So once Kelly is dead, it will drop with a chance of 0.25% from any monster killed in the underworld. So in theory we have to kill 400 monsters to get one cascade. Thank you, sir Crawdad. That's very nice of you. It's so much better to farm for Rally in a pre hardmore world. Many more crawdads and shelly spawn then. And now I just have to be patient enough and stick to farming in the underworld for a cascade. Oh, praise the sun! Oh my god. <laughs> Finally it's over. Dude, I'm mentally exhausted now. But yeah, look at this. We got all the yo-yos now. And hey, it only took me two hours to get both of these yo-yos. <laughs> Fun times, yay! This better be worth it. Oh yeah, pirates, right, great. <laughs> I probably should take care of these guys really quick. But anyways, I made a lot of progress on the base as you can see. And I think it looks pretty good so far, I'm quite happy with it. And this also brings me to the MVP comment of the day. Chief. Chief Xief Xief told me that my base was one block off on one side and that actually saved me a lot of trouble and rage. So thanks my dude. Uh what? Emperor Scepter? Huh. I did not expect any modded content from the pirate invasion. 84 melee damage, very fast speed, it's a material and enemies hit by this glorious scepter will drop more coins. Ooh, that's kinda cool. Oh, it got this kind of moveset. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that, since the range on it is very short. The upgraded version of the scepter is the whirlpool and we would need souls of tight to craft it. Hitting enemies causes homing bubbles to spawn. Okay, that actually sounds pretty good to me. The essence of the mutated terror of the sea. This sounds like these souls would drop from Mr. Douche Run, right? Maybe? Wait, is this another new weapon? Seems like it. 
Golden Glory. Nice! 54 throwing damage, very fast speed. It's actually just a golden door handle. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> throwing it will burst through enemy defense. Nice. Let's give it a go. Yeah, that's not too bad. And it inflicts the Iker debuff, I think it's called, right? So I think if you get invaded by the pirates early on in hard mode and you actually manage to get these weapons, I think they could be really useful. All right, finally this is over. Now let's move on and finally craft the Leviathan. Oh my god, here we go. I bet you guys that it's going to be rather useless to us now since this yo-yo is meant to be crafted before going into hard mode. But it's a material, so we can upgrade it eventually once we got all of the hard mode yo-yos. So yeah, wooden yo-yo, rally, good luck finding this one, malaise, pendulaire, which you can craft with frostbite bars, Amazon Prime, Code 1, Valor and Cascade. Alright, let's have a look at it. Okay, it does pretty good damage for a late pre hard mode yo-yo, no doubt about that. But yeah, we are way past that point and we got better weapons already. And as I mentioned already, we have to get all of the hard mode yo-yos next to upgrade the Leviathan. Which hopefully I will be able to do before fighting the Moon Lord. Okay, so next I think we should take care of Plantera and the Golem. So let me prepare a few things before we go on that adventure. Actually, I want to see if I'm able to YOLO Plantera. Perhaps I will get her to the surface for a fun time. Or maybe not. Mission abort! Mission abort! Well, I guess I will stick to my original plan and get a bit more prepared. So what we should do is to get a pickaxe axe and mine some chlorified ore. And also get some life roots. I think those could be helpful as well. Hey, our first turtle shell! We should probably go straight for the turtle armor, right? Yeah! How hard can it be to get two more of these? Hey, would you have a look at that? We got the second one. Nice, that didn't take long at all. So, game, do you mind if you could give me the third one too? Ah, oh, come on! I just wanted a turtle, but instead I got turtled. What? Huh, I had one turtle shell already in here. How about that? That spares me a good bit of time, nice. And we also got 700 chlorified ore. That's probably enough for the turtle armor. Let's see how many bars we get out of this. Yep, 117 is pretty good. And here we go, let's craft the full turtle armor now. Alright, now I think we are more than ready to take home Plantera and the Golem. I definitely went overboard with preparations, but... Eh, whatever, let's do this now. Well, perhaps I can save some buff potions and only rely on the stationary buffs. And I also hope those were not just some famous last words now. Well, maybe right now is the perfect moment for some buffs! Jesus, calm your tentacles, Plantera! Easy! As usual, I had no problems at all. Now let's find the lizard temple and have a little bit of a dance with the golem. Where are you hiding Mr. Temple? It's gotta be somewhere over here, right? Oh, I found it! Nice! So now to finding the entrance. Oh, there we go! Sweeto! Now let's bring death and devastation to these ancient ruins.
Nice, finally we got to the last room. This was quite a long and complex temple. I really like the layout of this one. Alright, I'm all set up. The room is lit, buff stations are placed, buff potions are ready. So let's just do it. And dead, nice. And yeah, up next is Mr. Douche Run already. Ooh, sweet, we got a pixel out of the first bag. It usually takes a few treasure bags for me until I get one. I will go ahead and kill another golem really quick, so that we have enough beetle husks. Because then we can craft a beetle armor and wreck douche run. Oh my god, we also got the sunstone. And we already got the moonstone, so you guys know what this means. Celestial stone, nice! And now we shall craft ourselves a sweet beetle armor. And I will go for the defensive breastplate, since I'm a noob and coward. Thank you very much. So now, we should go and check out the hard mode dungeon for possible modded content. Anything interesting we can make with ectoplasm? Uh, nope. At least nothing from the sacred tools mod. The crafting recipes for these weapons are probably most likely from the IMK Sushi mod. I will stay here a little longer. Maybe something cool happens. You never know. A solar eclipse is happening. I haven't had one of these in a long time. Huh? 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 Well, actually, it's a good thing since I need the Eye of Cthulhu yo yo from Mothy. Woo! We got a Death Sickle. Sweeto! Ah, we got a broken hero sword. That's not really what I was looking for. And another broken hero sword. Come on, Mothy. Don't be like that. Please give me the yo-yo. Well, seems like we can make some more stuff with broken hero swords. Interesting. Spore Javelin. 92 throwing damage. Explodes into poison clouds. Huh. We should probably craft it. What I want to craft for sure is the true Knight's Fall. Sweet! And let's also craft the Spore Javelin because why the hell not? It literally just costs some glorified bars. Whoa! I appreciate the velocity on the true Knight's Fall projectiles. The sprites though... Interesting is all I'm going to say. <laughs> <gasps> they stick to enemies! Yes! Just like Daybreak! I love the look of this. I don't know why, but there is something really satisfying about seeing those javelins sticking out of some stupid monster's face. And I spit a little bit. <laughs> it takes a long time until they explode though. Like, really long. This mechanic is probably more useful in a boss fight. Ooh, the sport javelins are even faster in terms of use time. Gotta say that the Spore Javelin does really good damage. <laughs> the true Knight's Fall projectiles look so ridiculous. But in a way, it is fun to use this weapon. And I can't say for sure which Javelin does more damage. The Spore Javelin or this one? Personally, I like the Spore Javelin more since it deals damage immediately. Unlike the true nice fall. Holy crap. This is mesmerizing. I would not recommend watching this while being drunk. With the feathers we got just then, we shall craft the Royal Harpy Slicer. And we still got enough for the Royal Harpy Days. Sweet! Yeah, I don't know. I feel like this weapon can't be useful at all. Unless you go up to a monster and hug it. Well. I guess I was wrong. It seems to be a pretty decent weapon. The Royal Harpy Slicer seems to be an alright weapon too. Nothing too special about it. So let's move on. So let's go and try to kill Douche Run now. I stumbled across two truffle worms already, which is uh, quite convenient. And I should probably nom nom the life fruits I've found so far. I actually wanted to fight 20 and eat them all at once for video purposes, but eh. I definitely need the extra life now, since, well, we are about to fight a hard boss. And off we go to the ocean. Platforms, campfire, hot lantern, copy and paste, copy and paste, copy and paste. Oh no, 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 die, please. Fuck. Hello, darkness, my old friend. 
Oh, damn. This Vyvern looks hot with all these javelins sticking out of him. Hmm. Are the Martians spawning near, you know, near spawn? Well, if that's the case, then screw them and just fight Dushran now. I wonder if this is going to spawn multiple Dushrons. Of course, damn it! I should have known it. Yeah, there is just no way that I'm going to win this. But I will try anyways. And this is where I die now. I know there is a strategy for this phase to avoid all of his charges, but eh, let's wing it. Oh man, this could actually work. But it's gonna be super tight. Ah! But I'm not even mad. I'm actually proud that I lasted this long. Please don't take this out of context. Now I have to deal with these Martians. This is actually only my second Martian Madness ever. I don't know, I never bothered or felt the need to fight these guys. I do remember from my first time fighting this event that the big UFO is a dick. But it got some nice drops of what I heard. So you can probably look forward to some raging. <laughs> Wait, already? Oh boy. But I'm pretty sure he can't fly through blocks, right? Oh, he can fly through blocks, but his attacks don't go through blocks. Got it. Yep, the fun begins now. Let's do it. Ow, stupid alien. Please don't do that again. <laughs> stupid UFO. Oh crap, I gotta go. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I got it now. You can't outrun this dude. You have to make turns. And you better time them right. Alright, let's try this again. I wish I had a weapon with homing projectiles for his second phase, since his hitbox is quite small, even though it's a huge UFO. Or I might be just crazy, who knows. What's up, you madman? Aw, oh, look at you being mad. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got the moving around and not get hit thingy down now. Hey, sweet! And what did we get? Electrosphere launcher. Interesting. I've never seen this weapon before. Man, I really should fight this event more often, huh? Whoa! This is actually a really good weapon. How come I never heard of it? Oh my god! Look at this damage! I love it! Oh, it takes forever to kill these guys. And I only cleared 63% by now. And another one spawned already. Are you kidding me? Finally! What is RNG going to give us this time? A laser drill? That's actually pretty cool. Ah, oh, come on! I'll be here for the next hour if you keep on spawning more of these. You know what? I will just ignore the Martian saucer and murderize all the small Martians. I really had enough of this. Finally, the Martians have been defeated. Let's finish off this last Martian saucer here. Sweet! And is this another... Yep, it's another Electrosphere launcher. Alright, I'm just glad that this is finally over and we can focus on killing Dushran again. I just noticed that it didn't consume my truffle worms. I'm pretty sure that's a feature from the Louis AFK mod and I'm not alright with this. So let's look for a fresh truffle worm. So while I was looking for a truffle worm, another soul eclipse happened and I want to take this opportunity and try to get the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo again. That's a broken hero sword. But I'll take that too, thanks. Hey, finally! Finally, we got this yo-yo too. Thanks, Mothy. Um, what? Did Mothy just despawn? What the heck? Oh, that was awkward. I wonder what caused this to happen. Now that we are pretty close to crafting the upgraded Leviathan, let's head over to the dungeon and try to get the Kraken. <laughs> Sweet! On my way to the dungeon, we got another broken hero sword. Very convenient. Oh, well, that was quick. Thank you, I appreciate it. Now the only yo-yo we're missing is code 2, which you get from the traveling merchant in hard mode. 
And that's quite a problem, because who knows when he is actually selling one. Ethereal, what? When did we get this one? Faces through walls, so there actually is modded stuff in the dungeon. That's cool. Almost as cool as this hex or yo-yo. Well, therefore it doesn't have much range on it. But then again, I don't have a yo-yo bag yet. Alright, I got distracted pretty nicely with the yo-yos just then. But uh, let's get back on track and get a truffle worm and kick some douche run butts. Okay, there is one. Got him! Nice! Now, we will just leave it at this one truffle worm, since I'm not interested in fighting two or more douche runs at once again. Alright then, here we go again, douchey. Wow, this was way too easy. What the heck happened to you, douchey? Come on, big money! Ah, oh, hell yeah! We got the fish run wings! That's very lucky, awesome! Wait a minute. The fish run wings don't feel any better than Jensen's wings. What? Jensen's talisman has the same uh, vertical acceleration speed as fish run wings. What? I didn't know that! This would also explain why the fight against Douche Run was not that hard. And as I thought, we also got Source of Tide from Douchey. Very nice. The only thing we can make with Source of Tide right away is Whirlpool. So let's go and do that. So here we go then, Whirlpool. 164 melee damage, very fast speed. Hitting enemies causes homing bubbles to spawn. And you need the Emperor's Scepter, which we got from the Pirate Invasion. And 20 souls of tight from douche run. Look at me! Well pooling. Very nice. Aw oh man, really? That's all the bubbles that spawn from this weapon? Well, it might add up really quick since you can hit enemies super fast with this one. But yeah, excuse me while I take my unicorn on a nice walk here. And next episode, we will finally get into the meat of this mod. I can feel it. But until then, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me derping around. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a sweet day and stay awesome!